Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salaam Khan here. And continuing the topic of cardinal maps, today we discuss some examples on it. All right. But before moving to examples, let's uh, or we talk the two variable ski map as well through an example. All right. So examples is the heading for today. Uh, examples. All right. So let's say first we deal a two variable game app. Let's say we have a, b, and the function given is f. All right, so you know that the input combination would be 2 to the power 2 is a 4. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. All right. And let's say the function's value is 1, 0, 1, 0. All right, which means that m, m not and m2 m1 m2 are high okay this is m0 this is m1 m2 and m3 all right now how do we arrange uh, this uh, uh, cells all right when when you have four number of cells so how do you arrange it so uh, we write this like this we have four so uh, we have A to the one side and B to the other side, where A is the MSB and B is the LSB. So, so in the first case, in the first case we have what? We have this A is equal to zero for this column and we have A is equal to a row and A is equal to one for this row. And similarly for the columns, in this column we have B is equal to zero and in the second column we have B is equal to one. Which makes the first this 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 block a zero zero, which means this is m naught. All right, this is zero zero is m naught, and if we have now zero one, so this is m one, and then we have a one one zero, which is m two, and then we have a one one, which is m three. All right, so this is the simple uh, two variable k map. Okay, now for for this function for this function uh, the k map is like this. All right, so we have a zero and a one over here, and we have a zero and a one over here. This is A and this is B. And which of them is high? M not is high and M2 is high. And then the rest of them are zeros. So now you, you have the group of two ones, all right? So this is the group of two ones. Now have a look. What is not changing in it? So if you have a look over here, so A is changing from zero to one. So this is not b so b is not changing f this function is equal to b b is not changing but b is not changing in its lower state which means b is a zero so b as a zero is not changing and when we have b is zero not changing so we take its complement because in the sub form we've seen that we take the function value as a high all right and this is just a uh, just the sub form but this is directly we directly cover some steps through this grouping all right as we've seen in the previous lecture that a plus a complement so we covered those few steps directly okay so this is what happens in the sub form when it's a zero you take it a complement when it's a one you take it as it is that is what you need to remember we'll be implying it all right so this was just to, to, to know about the two variables came up this is very easy now we have examples from three variables all right so let's say a function given f is a summation of min terms. In this form it's given, which is 1, 3, 5, and 7. And this function is a three variable function. So let me write that a function is a, b, c, and the summation of min terms 1, 3, 5, and 7. All right. So what do you do now? You, you, you draw that, that box. All right. Uh, this is your box now in this video I'm not going to write which is M0 which is M1 which is M2 all right so we you know this is that this is M1 all right then we have M2 and this is M3 then M4 M5 is over here M6 is over here and M7 is this one all right and these are the one so and the rest are zero of course rest are zero and you know that this is a and b and c over here you have a zero one over here you have a zero 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 one 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 and one zero you know how how is that okay and you know how to fill it 
Now you're going for eight group of eight group of eight ones. You don't have that. You look four. You have a group of uh, a group of four ones. Yes. So we have it. This is the group of four ones. So now you have a look. What is not changing in it? Okay. So if you see the zero, this a is changing from zero to one in both. Uh, in the in the in the row in the rows in this row it's not changing in this row it's not changing. When the column it's changing, all right. So we have a changing, right? Now let's check for b. So b is also changing from zero to one. But if you have a look, so c c is not changing in this case. C is the same one in this column, in this column, in this row, and in this row as well. So which means this function value f is equal to c. That's it, okay? Now you imagine if you were solving this by the rules of Boolean algebra, so it would take at least four to five steps, but by the Cornell maps, we did it directly, okay? Another example, let's say we have uh, a function again, a three variable function, a, b, and c, which is given to be summation of min terms uh, 0, 1, 2, 4, 7. 0, 1, 2, 4, and 7, all right? So what do you do now? You you you, uh, you draw this block sort of again. All right, uh, this. So you have eight. All right. Now you know you have an A over here and B C over here, a zero and a one. Okay. Now zero 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 one 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 and one zero. So now M zero is high. This means this is a 1, uh, 1 is high over here, 2 is high over here, 3 is low, 4 is high, and then 7 is high. And the others are low, of course. Alright, so now what do you do? You group once. So now uh, I've told you to, you can group in either direction, which means you can group over here like this. Alright, now how to group this one? So you can group it like this. I told you that... One group can, one, one, a single one can be grouped more than one time. Now what to do with this one? So this cannot be grouped either to this, either to left or to this right. So you leave it alone, okay? It can be treated as a group itself. And how to group this one? So you cannot group it in a diagonal way, I've told you already, because well, here only one variable is not changing, okay? Now have a look, over here A is 1. So over here A becomes 0. One variable is changing. But if you see, so B is 1, B is also 1 over here, but the C changes from 1 to 0 also in the diagonal form, in which means in the diagonal we have two variables changing, which is against the rules of uh, this Cardinal map. But we've seen from the map rolling that we can group it uh, in, this, in this way. All right, in this way. With this adjacent, in the quarter, all right? In the corner, sorry. So now this function would be equal to what? This function I can call uh, this groups a uh, group number one, two, and three. Let's say, or well, let's say I write it directly. So for this group of one, the vertical. So if you have a look, zero a is changing from zero to one, and and b and c. So they both are not changing, but they are not changing in their low state. So we write a complement, which means we have a b complement, c complement. All right. Now in this, in the, in, the, in the horizontal, so we have A not changing and then we have B not changing at a 0 and C is changing from 0 to 1, so which means we have A not changing and we have B complement not changing. Alright, now for this, this is, uh, this is just a, uh, a lone member, so we have all the three variables, these are high, so we have A, B and C. And finally in the corner, what do we have? We have an A not changing, A is a 0, and then we have a C complement not changing because C is in its low state and, and you have a B changing from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1. So this is the minimal uh, form from this Cardinal map. All right, directly. Now if you have, let's say, another example, uh, F another three, three, three variables, A, B, and C. This is, let's say, summation of main terms uh, 1, 3, 6, and 7. 1, 3, 6, and 7. So how do you do that? So first, 
as always you draw this thing now I recommend you one thing that if you remember these zeros and ones still you write them this zero 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 one 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 and one zero you'd write them so so you would remember it perfectly the, the answer will have zero percent or a very less percent chances of error okay so m1 is high then we have m3 is high then we have m4 5 and 6 and 7 is high the rest are zero okay all right now how do you group so so you can i can group these two ones like this and these two ones like this all right now what do you say so so the functions value would be what it would be uh, and so in this a is not changing a is a zero and then we have b is changing from zero to one but c is not changing so c and then you have an a in the second you place an or operator and then you have a not changing it's a one and then you have b not changing from uh, b not changing and c is changing from one to zero so you have a b and similarly now now, now one question arises can we group this again can I group this again like this let's say so I can but this becomes redundant okay so how is that so we see uh, plus uh, let's say I write uh, what is not changing so a is changing from 0 to 1 and b and c are not changing b and c all right yes but here I made a mistake. This is A complement C, all right? So in the first one, A is not changing. A is at the zero not changing. A complement C. Now if you have a look, we've studied the redundancy theorem. We have three variables. Yes, we have three variables. Each variable is repeated twice. Have a look. A repeated twice, B repeated twice, and C repeated twice. So what do you do? One variable is complemented. We have a variable complement. So you take the complemented variable and you drop the others, all right? So which means you have to take the complement. We have to take... The, the, the terms containing a so we've taken a and this b comp and this bc this is redundant so it means you can drop it out and it doesn't have any effect on the on the function's value okay all right so i've removed half of this place because uh, i thought half would be enough so let's say i have a two variable function because we have not seen that often so i have two variable function let's say we have a summation of main term uh, 0 and 1 let's say all right so what do you do now you draw this uh, box this is what this is now you know a this is B so here you have a 0 we have a 1 we have a 0 we have a 1 now m, m, m not is high and m1 is high and the rest are 0 all right so now you group them like this uh, this is the group and you have a look the functions value is what uh, a is not changing but in its low state so a complement and then we have b is changing so f is equal to a complement this is simple right so two variables is simple but I thought we were ignoring it so I just did an example let's say we have another three variable example f is a function of a b and c equals summation of main term what uh, 0, 1, 5, 6, 7. 0, 1, 5, 6, and 7. All right. So now what do you do? So let me remove this part of it. All right. So now you draw it again like this. All right. I have a special purpose in drawing it a little bigger. Okay, so this is your A and here we have a B, C. This is 0, this is 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Now what do you do? M0 is high, M1 is high, M2, 3, then we have 4, 5 is high, 6 is high, and 7 is high. These are low. All right, so now how do you group these ones? Okay. So let's say the first group that I make is this one. Okay. The second group that I make is, let's say, this one. All right. And now this one remains. So I told you that we can have it as a single, we can treat it as a group, but that is in the case 
if we don't have anything in its neighborhood, all right? Uh, so, but we have a one in its neighborhood, so which means I can, I can, I can group it to either this one or this one. Okay, so we see it. Okay, so let's say I, I, I group it to this one. All right, so now what do you do? The function's value would be what? The function's value would be, let's say I use the same color, so so this, uh, in this case, A is not changing in its A complement form, and then we have B complement not changing. All right, and for the second now, for this green, we have an A changing, but a B complement C is not changing. And then for the last, we have uh, an A not changing, and we have a, we have a B not changing. So this is the form, okay? Now, now if you do what? If you, if you group this one, in, in, instead of grouping it to this, if you group it to this, like this. So then what do you have? So this function's value would equal what? This uh, red, A complement, B complement, would be in its own place, and the black, A, B is in its own place. We have a blue newcomer, so we have, look, a is not changing, and B, uh, B is changing from 0 to 1, and C is not changing. So now we have the same Carnot map, but we have in one form we have a B complement C, and in the other we have an A C. So we can have that, okay? If one person chooses this group, he has this answer. If the other person chooses this group, he has this answer, all right? So from this we can have a conclusion that the result that the result of K map, the result of K map is minimal, but it may not be unique. It may not be unique means what? One person can have one minimal form, another person can have another as we've seen from this example. All right, so I believe these are enough examples. And that's enough for today as well. So see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.